Hey guys, so I recently found out that the top 30 best-selling manga of the year so far have been revealed. And now a lot of people like to make discussion videos about this and give their opinion, so I decided why not do my own? I haven't actually read the list yet, so I will be going through it and discussing what I think of all of these placements. But first, I am going to make a couple predictions. So I'm going to say Bleach will be in the top 30, it won't be super high up, mainly because Bleach, while it still remains kind of popular, it is definitely decrease and it usually usually stays around in the lower numbers of this list. I also think that Fairy Tail will be in the top 20, maybe close to top 10 because Fairy Tail has been pretty hype recently. Now I think My Hero Academia is going to skyrocket. I'm pretty sure at the end of last year it was near the bottom of the list, but because the new anime is out and I just hear the manga is getting super good, I have a feeling that it may actually be top 10. Same thing with One Punch Man, I also believe that One Punch Man will be in the top 10. I'm also thinking Food War Wars will be pretty high up, IQ will also be really high, and in the top 5 we are definitely going to see One Piece at either number 1 or 2, we're going to see Attack on Titan, The 7 Deadly Sins, and I strongly believe that Assassination Classroom will be in the top 5. It's been really high recently, and now with the final volume of the manga coming out, like, the hype's gonna be insane. Especially with the anime also ending, and the new live action movie, like, I mean, freaking everyone will wanna get on that hype train. So I scroll down to the bottom of the list without looking at it, so let's take a look. Number 30, we have Yatsuba. Uh, I think that's a comedy series. Honestly, um, most of these I don't know about. Either they've never been released in English, or I just don't know about them at all. So I'll only really be talking about the ones I know about. Number 29, we have Konodori. Number 28, we have Major Second. No, no idea. Uh, 27 though, we have I Am A Hero. Now this is a zombie manga. It recently got released in English and I do plan to pick it up at some point. It looks really interesting and I'm glad that it is selling well. I've also heard people say it would make a really good anime, so if this sells really well and gets an anime, then that would be awesome. Number 26, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I mean, it's JoJo, it's been going on forever. Never been like the most popular manga of all time. But, I mean, the, the friggin' legacy is insane, and, like, JoJo's never gonna friggin' go away. 25, Dagashi Kashi. 24, Golden Kamoi. 23, Ajin. I have heard of Ajin. I believe a new anime for that came out. Don't really know what it's about, though. I may consider picking it up since it's out in English. You never know. Here we go, Bleach at 22, which I believe is around the same as last time. While Bleach has significantly decreased in popularity ever since the anime ended, I haven't read anything past the Arankar arc, but I have heard that the arc after that was pretty bad and a lot of people jumped the ship after that. But it's good to see that people are still sticking around for Bleach, and hopefully, if I ever do catch up, I will continue to enjoy it. At 21, we have Seraph of the End. I have heard of this one. Some people have recommended it to me, but I checked it out. It, it seems kind of generic. I don't know if I'll ever get into it, but I'm glad that people are enjoying it. Number 20, World Trigger, same deal. Number 19, we have Moggy. Gotta read that Moggy. I know I, I've had those three volumes up there for a very long time and I have yet to start it. But yeah, I believe Moggy's actually in its final arc now. Not sure when it's going to end, but hopefully it will rise in the ranks as the series finishes. Number 18, we have Prison School. Don't know anything about this except there's a lot of fan service, so I like see it at the store and it's all sealed off So I can't really check it out all that much. Well, I heard it's pretty funny So, uh, you know, I might check it out someday. Number 17, Gintama Gintama, man. Gintama is pretty interesting. I have checked out the first couple episodes of the anime. Didn't really grip me um, I have heard it gets a lot better though. It's also been going on for a really long time and the anime actually ended I'm pretty sure like just this year So it'll be interesting to see if this affects the sales at all But I'm sure if the manga is really good then it will hold a steady place number 16 We have fairy tale a little bit lower on the list than I thought But of course fairy tale is continuing to be very popular and the manga is pretty good right now But like in Tama the anime has also ended or at least gone on hiatus So who knows if this will affect the sales at all 15 we have orange don't no, uh, 14, Detective Conan. Detective Conan, still going strong. This is a very long series, longer than One Piece. Um, I really don't know all that much about it. I think it's about this kid who gets, like, trapped in the toddler's body or something and he solves crimes. I have, I have no idea what the deal is up with it, um, and because the series is so long and just, like, no one has ever recommended it to me, I don't know if I will ever check it out. Number 13, Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma. A little bit lower than I thought, but, I mean, Food Wars is friggin' awesome. Seriously, if you have not read Food Wars or seen the anime, it's, it's wonderful. Number 12, we have Chihayafuru. Nope, don't know it. 11, we have Terraformers. 
I have heard of this one. I've looked into it a bit. It seems kind of interesting. I may want to check it out someday. And here we go. Number 10. I was right. My Hero Academia made it to number 10. Oh my god, the hype. Like, this could seriously become one of the next massive shonens now that stuff like Assassination Classroom is ending. I mean, I have a feeling this is just going to continue to rise in the ranks as long as the manga stays consistently great. Number 9, we have Tokyo Ghoul Re. Now, I have read Tokyo Ghoul. It was pretty good. I have yet to read Tokyo Ghoul Re yet. I hear it is even better. I am definitely going to read Tokyo Ghoul Re at some point once I get a couple things read. Although, I'm also curious to see how much of the series is left to come out. Because if it's ending soon, then I'll probably just wait until it ends so I can read the whole thing like I did with the first Tokyo Ghoul series. But yeah, it's Tokyo Ghoul. Very popular. Like, extremely popular. I can't freaking go into a store now without seeing Tokyo Ghoul merchandise everywhere. Number 8, we have a race. A race. That was like an anime that came out that everyone talked about and I never saw. Yeah, I really don't know anything about this. Um, I didn't even know it had a manga. I, I thought it was an anime original, but I guess it has a manga. And I guess because the anime was so popular, a lot of people have been reading the manga. Number eight, I, I'm gonna have to look into this. I really am, because it's really popular. And I have no idea what the deal is up with this series. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do some research later. Number seven, One Punch Man, there we go. One Punch Man is so good. It is so freaking good. And I love how the anime has just made it even more popular. So many people are reading One Punch Man now, and it is awesome. Very, very happy about that one. Number six, The Seven Deadly Sins. That's interesting. It dropped quite a bit. If you remember a year ago, at the halfway point in 2015, it was actually number one. That is quite the drop. Still very popular at number six. But well, that's still kind of interesting. I don't really know what the deal is with this series. I don't know if, like, last year was at the super high point in the series. And I can't remember whether or not the anime was going on then. Uh, I don't think it is anymore. But yeah, apparently the series is really great. And I should really definitely check it out at some point. I'm pretty sure the whole thing is up on Crunchyroll. At number five, we have Kingdom. Man, okay, Kingdom... I always hear about it. It's like this super long-running series. And it's at number five, so it's really freaking popular in Japan. But it has never been released here. Which is really, really weird. So I'm not quite sure what it's about. I just know it's really popular. It's at number five. All right, number four. Haikyuu. I was right about that. Sports manga are very popular, and there's always usually, like, one that dominates the rest, and that is Haikyuu. I'm not interested in sports at all, especially not volleyball, so I'll probably never check it out, to be honest. But I'm glad that people who enjoy sports manga love it so much. Number three. Attack on Titan. Oh crap. Okay, Attack on Titan was number three. Now, this is to be expected. Attack on Titan is extremely popular. Although, the longer they wait to release the second season of the anime, I do have a feeling it might drop a bit. Honestly, I expected this to be number two, though. So, I guess number two must be... Assassination Classroom. And just by a sliver, too, just by 21,000 copies, Assassination Classroom comes in number two. Man, that is awesome. This is definitely the highest Assassination Classroom will ever be. It's definitely going to start to drop now that the manga is over. But it's really great seeing this series get a lot of love. I reviewed this series. Like, the final quarter of this series is frigging amazing. And, of course, the champion with over 2 million copies more than number 2. 6.47 million copies. We have One Piece. I mean, no surprise there. One Piece has been, like, the most popular manga in the world for a very long time, and it, I mean, the story just continues to get better. The anime is still going on. They got a new movie coming out in video games. Like, what well, One Piece will never friggin' end. So yeah, those were the top 30 best-selling manga of the year so far. Really, really interesting. I really enjoyed making this video, and hopefully in another six months' time, I will be able to make another video looking at the manga sales for the entire year and seeing how things change. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. You can discuss this list in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video.